in today's English lesson, you will learn the difference between heel, heel, and heel. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English used in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, you will learn the difference between heel, heel, and heel. We're going to start off a little differently this time. So first, can you find the mistakes in the tweet you're seeing now on the screen? If that's too small, here it is again on the screen, a little bigger and a little easier to read. And I'll read it for you too. Our great country has been divided for a decade, but it will come together again. Sometimes protest is needed in order to heal, and heal we will. Heel as a noun can mean a few different things, including the back part of a foot below the ankle. Heel can also be a part of a shoe, like this part right here. Heel can also be heel can also be a, in the last piece in a loaf of bread, like this loaf of bread, the last piece right here at the end is called the heel. Now my dog can smell the bread and she's all excited. She thinks she's going to get some food from me. A heel can also be a bad or selfish person. As a verb, it's used as a command to tell a dog to walk next to you. You probably won't hear that too often though. Some sample sentences are, My heel has been really sore today. I can barely walk. I really hate wearing shoes with high heels. Some people really prefer to eat the heel, but others don't want to eat it. He really came across as the heel in a speech a few days ago. Now the next heel, H-E-A-L, as a verb means to become or to make healthy or well again. As in, he was injured really badly and it will take him a long time to heal or the cut on her heel has really healed up well. And some related words that could be a little tricky is you know the word heal, we just talked about it, but the word health is H-E-A-L-T-H. You may think it's heal, but it's not, it's health. Heal, health. And then this next word is wealth. And there's also stealth. Although there is a such word as steal, two words is steal, S-T-E-A-L and S-T-E-E-L. Now the last heel is a contraction as in he will, as in he'll be very happy that his rocket launched successfully today. Now do you understand the mistake that was made in a tweet using the, that I showed you earlier using the word heel and what the word should have been used? Another mistake was in the first part, in the part that says, our country has been divided for a decade. A decade is a period of 10 years. The way it was written implies he meant to use the plural form decades. To be grammatically correct, the person would have to say either our great country has been divided for a decade or our great country has been divided for decades. Although, so there are some issues with punctuation because there should be one space after a comma and two spaces after a period. Okay, it's now time for the short quiz. Please fill in the blanks with either heel or heel. And the answers will be at the bottom of the description and try not to cheat. Try to answer them first, at least to yourself or in the comments before you look at the answers. So, number one is the blank of her shoe broke off. Number two, she's needed to have surgery on her blank four times so far. Number three, sometimes mental wounds take longer to blank than physical injuries. Now this one combines these, so this could be a little complicated. He behaved like such a blank when he made fun of her because she didn't walk normally, 
due to an injury to her blank that didn't blank completely. Now, if you want more practice, then try making your own sentences into commas with either heel, heel, or heel, or decade. And I can help correct any mistakes or questions you have. Just don't be a heel about it. And that's all for today's lesson. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel here. Or down here, you can sign up to get some emails and other English help from me. And over here, you can watch another one of my English lessons. Goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible.